Tonight is December the 21st, 2021, and I want to show you something tonight I think that you'll be uh, very interested in if you uh, deal with microphones. These, uh, I'm going to talk about these condenser microphones as they're also known as an electric, E-L-E-C-T-R-E-T, -E -E I believe that's how they spell it. Some people call them F-E-T microphones. Anyway, they use a little uh, capacitor type microphone itself and they have a FET amplifier built right into them and um, the ones that we get usually come with a fixed resistor and it's a very simple circuit I'm going to draw the circuit real time for you so that I can explain it but I have found out and I'm going to tell you the secret right off is all you have to do is make that load resistor variable to increase the gain and it uh, it can increase the gain significantly. <clears throat> there are videos out there where people have gone to a lot of trouble to build amplifiers for them, which is very good. I mean, I certainly admire that, but it's not necessary. I'm going to show you, and then I'll, I'll show you the measurements to show you that uh, that it's actually true. Okay, let's first, let's go over here. I got to move the camera around a lot. You know, if you watch any of my videos, you know that. I got to do this. But I'm going to draw a schematic of, uh, of what these things are because I'd rather draw it because I can explain it better as I draw it. The little FET um, microphone oftentimes is drawn like this with a circle and um, some of them have two, uh, two terminals on them some have three but if they have three, usually one of them is connect. Uh, two of them are connected together because of uh, the ground. But anyway, we're going to use a two-terminal one. Yours could be slightly different, but one side of the microphone is grounded, and this is all going to be built into the into your microphone itself. The second one comes out, and it goes through a capacitor. The value of this capacitor can be widely uh, different, all the way from from 0.47 which is what I've used to uh, 10 microfarads and uh, the ones that we buy are even non-polarized ones they, they used a negative side here and a plus side here I don't think that makes any difference but you, this capacitor could just be darn near anything you want you could probably even uh, tailor the output if you wanted to really attenuate the highs by maybe putting in a, a 0.01 I don't know. That, that, that would be an, an experiment that uh, uh, you can do yourself. But I'm, I'm going to give away the, 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 whole, the whole point of the video right here. They come and uh, they have a fixed resistor in them. And oftentimes it's, uh, I've got some, one, some that are like 1K and I've got some other ones that are like 2.2K whatever this is some value resistor and this resistor right here is what sets the gain of it because this is a load resistor that's what this FET or electric condenser microphone is working into now it, it's just it's just so simple that it's it, it's hard to, it, it's uh, it's amazing we've missed it well you can change this resistor at any value you want I don't know how high you can go you can probably go to 20 or 30 K ohms but the way that I've done it that has worked very well for me is I just put another little pot in series with it and I've used 5 K's and I've used 20 K's and the higher the, the higher it is the more gain you get this is a this is a potentiometer I'll show you the pots here in just a minute that's the secret right there. I'm not going to try to draw the, the, the whole thing for you. It's just not necessary because down here you've got a battery and then you've got the battery being, uh, uh, you know, with your push to talk switch, on, like if it's ham radio on a microphone. Uh, when you close the switch, this thing turns on. And when you speak into it, you get the audio out here. This is audio out right here. It's just that, it's just that simple. 
but I'll prove it to you. I'll show you the dramatic difference it makes. The higher this value, the more output you get because you're developing, this is actually a load resistor. If you're thinking about it like a triode, if you were thinking about it, I'm gonna draw another something here just to try to make a point. If you were thinking about a, a vacuum tube audio amplifier, uh, a stage in it, for example, this resistor right here, this load resistor determines the gain of the tube and within the you know within the the values that are permissible uh, the higher this is the more gain you get like 100k say this is a 12ax7 i'm just trying to make a point here if it's 100k you'll get higher gain than you will if it's a 47k <clears throat> the current through the tube will be a little bit lower but the voltage developed across it will be actually higher and that is exactly the case here so I've already told you what the whole uh, what the whole video is about. Whether it's uh, for your uh, whatever you're using your electric uh, um, your uh, condenser mic for, you can. If you don't want to put in a potentiometer, you could change the one k to a two k or a four k or five k or ten or twenty. 22k whatever I don't know like I said I don't know how high you can go before the current through this device would be too low to operate but it'd probably be pretty darn high in my case I've used a, uh, a pot okay let me show you what happens here I'll prove this to you okay I only got to prove this I think in one in one case here uh, <clears throat> this is one that I upgraded right here just recently. I love I love the microphones. The D104s are just magnificent. You know, uh, depending on the model, some of them have this gain pot in the bottom. This one does not have the amplifier in it, but it does have the pot in it, and it's hooked up exactly like I just showed you. It's in series with that load resistor, and it, and it makes a significant difference. Uh, this is a very old one right here. See, it does not have one. Uh, this is act. This actually, this microphone actually was bought for me when I was a 13 year old kid, and and uh, just got into amateur radio, and I've had it the whole time. It's had a different head in here, of course, but it does have an original head. The original, the original ceramic uh, heads, microphone elements in here. There, it's rare that you can find one that works really good, but that one actually does. It still works. But anyway, let's look at this pretty little thing right here. What I did is I built a, uh, I put a pot into the side of it right here. So, and this is a 5K pot. It's got a 2.2K fixed resistor in series with the 5K in this case. You could probably change this to a 10 or even a 20K. But uh, to prove the point, I'm going to use, and I hope I can do this quickly. Not to draw the video out too long. I'm going to use a, a, a calibrator here. Hear that? And um, we will uh, first turn the gain down really low, or as low as it'll go, on the microphone. I actually put this one in, uh, in backwards. Uh, it's because of something I did to it some other time ago. Okay. Now what we're what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the the calibrator on. I'm just going to stick it right up to the microphone like that. Except we're going to watch the current. Uh, in the output. Let's look at the uh, plate current right here. Let's see if we can. Uh, since you know what I'm going to do. We'll try to show you everything at one time. We're just going to scope in on the on the plate current right here of the amplifier. <clears throat> turn it on. Uh, I hope I don't have it set too high. I'll turn it down right there. Okay, it's as low as it'll go right now. See where the current is right there? It's about. Uh, it's going up to about. 250 milliamps. 
I don't want to overdrive it. I'm not trying to prove how much power I can put out. Let me turn that off. Went up to 250 milliamps. Now I'm going to uh, increase the value of that pot, which I, again is 5K. And watch this. See? Went up to 350 milliamps. <clears throat> that's really all, of, that's really the only demonstration I really need to make because it'll do it with every it with, it'll do it with every microphone, and it'll do it with the different um, the different ones that you can buy out on uh, on eBay, which is where I get these uh, microphone elements. So, just put a little um, variable potentiometer or a fixed resistor, whatever you want the gain to be. I, I find it a whole lot handier to to put a potentiometer in there than be constantly swapping out resistors. I guess you could also put a switch in there that uh, that put different value ones in it, but you can vary the, 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 the gain without having to build a complicated amplifier. There you go. Proof positive. I hope this works for you guys and uh, stay safe and have a good Christmas and a happy new year and all that kind of stuff. And uh, thanks for watching.